Cancer, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading, love. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Cancers, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. I thank you for likes, shares, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and I thank you again. If you found this message or the message found you, there's something in here for you, my love. Or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. There's no gender here. Only energy. There's no age here. Only energy. You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay that no mind. Feel the energy, okay? Center energy, please. Hello. Cancers, blossoming. Blossoming. I love it. It's a flower moon, number 33, and we have release at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so, you know, we're talking about blossoming as far as opening up. We're talking about really showing our gifts and talents and embracing those things, um, being proud of those things, uh, utilizing uh, these things uh, in our everyday lives and being noticed for it. Um, this is allowing you actually to release old wounds, I have to say, yeah, bringing about this change in your life because you've been swimming with sharks for so long, it kind of feels good to just um enjoy the the flowers and the trees in the garden you know what i mean masculine energy here it could be uh that's what's changing in your life maybe you're changing masculine energies or you're changing from feminine to masculine hmm yeah, uh, whoever this masculine energy is for you, number 42, you you know, with this discernment here, you're really seeing through um, whatever they bring, you know, and it looks like they're still uh, very hmm, torn with whether or not they're going to pursue you, even though they act like it. Sometimes they don't. They kind of like got one foot in the door and one foot out. Um, you can kind of see through all of that right now. Unexpected. Capricorn had this energy. That talks about a visitor, my love. Uh, an unexpected uh, call or a text or visit um, either in the 3D from someone or um, in the 5D. And, um, so that's very beautiful energy because it is a very loving um, energy. Ooh, all right, let's put some tarot down with secret see if we can either get some more information or details on the energy that's already here or maybe there's a different message but i do love the fact that you are looking um just so peaceful you know what i'm saying i can't say that every day all day you're walking around with this super duper smile on your face but you just seem to be at ease you know and i like that for you Center energy, please, for Cancer. Hello. The death in reverse, Scorpion energy. So this is um, not wanting to let go, not wanting to release, and not wanting to change. And I don't think that's you. You're already, you've already started your change. I think this is someone that's trying to hold on to you, my love. But they don't want to change. That's the thing. Like, you know, if they wanted to change to for you guys to connect, different you know but they don't want to change but they don't want to let you go you know i mean come on uh but this also can represent um um a situation that you're trying to cut yourself off from and it seems to uh like a job like you, you feel stuck at you know what i mean i can't leave because i'm invested you know i'm almost fully vested something like that you know uh cry me energy please 
Queen of Cups, there you go, with the world. Yeah, there's an ending that's hovering over you and you really just want to get it over with. You want to complete this cycle and for whatever reason, like I said, um, this energy is really just not trying to let you go. Release is here at the bottom of the deck. So it's either you needing to release or someone needing to release you because you're really trying to blossom. That's the thing. So I think it's really somebody trying to hold on to you. They just don't want to change though. I don't understand. And you can see right through their uh, uh, frag neck wool, you know, um, you see right through it. So it's not even like, I don't even think they try to hide it like they used to no more. You, to be honest, you can even see through the tricks, you know, uh, what's undermining cancer right now? Five of wands. You don't want to argue. You don't want to fight. And the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles you know uh what's undermining you right now is you don't want to argue you don't want to fight but you need to i know and i know that sounds crazy but you need to stand your ground and speak up and call them on their crap because I think they've gotten away with it for so long that they're just used to you being a certain way um and what's undermining you is that your new beginning is with this, it's taken too long. You feel that, you know, like, okay, green eyes. Yeah, I feel all these things happening in my life, but when am I going to, but when is it going to, when are we going to, when can I, you know, think, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles, that's very slow energy. You know, that's my turtle with hemorrhoids. So he's slow, damn it. But that don't mean he ain't coming. He going to get there. So, but focusing on uh, time it slows you down. Don't focus on the time. Enjoy the moment. You're blossoming and you're just enjoying music and um, life and embracing life and the beauty of life. You're experiencing new things right now and people are experiencing a, a new you right now because you're releasing the old foolishness, you know, and you're ending cycles, world energy. Travel also, I have to mention with that world energy uh, could be um, in the near future. Okay, uh, where's this coming from for Cancer? The moon, Piscean energy. Ooh, that shadow work, baby. You've been working on yourself. You have been working with due diligence, you know, with purpose. Um, Scorpion energy as well. Um, you have really just crawled out of, like I said, you were swimming with the sharks and you kind of just like crawled to the banks and out of the water and you're like, oh my God, I've been in the water for so long. I forgot what the ground feels, feels like. Stability, the you know, good grounding, soil, where you can just plant and uh, watch something grow. You know what I'm saying? You've just been swimming in emotions, but now you're experiencing the earth. And that's because of, of that shadow work. You're embracing all aspects of, the, uh, of life now, all aspects of energy i can't wait to see i want to see i want to see some fire for you because don't worry about the money that's coming i know you want to know where, where's the money okay i know you like okay but where's the money where but hello where's the money i hear you it's coming but this energy work that you're doing right now um is going to be so detrimental to your new cycle you know what i mean future energy please for cancer see Wisdom, hermit, Virgo energy, knowledge, understanding, growth, maturity. Uh, the hermit has been on a path of up, down, and all the way around. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Same energy, okay? Um, up, down, and all the way around. He didn't been through some things, but now he has wisdom. Now he's sought after for his experiences. Um, and he's still following the most high, uh, divinely led with that light. He's standing in the light with this nine of wands, same energy. This is somebody that's been through a battle and they do have some scars, but they're willing to fight. This is the thing. I think this is uh, your person, you're wising up. So what you, with this wise up, you're either defending yourself and not allowing nobody in your personal space, or uh, this is your person. Like, I know I tore some stuff up, but I still want to hold on, you know, and whatever it is, you're, you're cutting straight through the foolishness. I told you, you can see through the game. So they might be playing like you heard them, you know, I ain't gonna lie. Cause we talking, they might be playing like I'm so broken and you, 
uh, shattered my world and I can't live without you. Uh, but with this King of Swords, you're really coming with truth. You're going to cut through all of that foolishness and own your power, King of Cups, because you're trying to embrace new life and new love and new experiences uh, with this Ace of Cups. And justice, it's time, Libra energy, okay? It's time. It's time to reclaim um, whatever it is that's yours. And if you got to call the popo, or if you got to file a lawsuit or whatever it takes with this justice energy, you like, I'll, I'll do it. Cancerian energy here, chariot, because you're trying to make moves in your life and you're being supported by the most high. You just have to think about your direction, you know, what, what you expect to get out of this. I think that's the only part that you really haven't like detailed down yet. You kind of got the part about that inner work. Now it's like, okay, what are your plans? You know, because right now it's been your focus focus has really been on inner work and then your plans turn to, I just want to just get out of the situation, you know, but then what? All right. So when you actually broaden your perspective and do some homework, maybe, you know, is there a job you want to look into a career you want to look into or, um, you know, relationship, if that's your focus, whatever your focus is moving, you know, getting a home, whatever the case is, you know, that's what you need to be now looking towards once this process is complete. Um, and God will give you the strength to uh, have a clear head so that you can focus on those things because that's where you want to settle queen of pentacles energy which is abundance and security and loyalty um extremely um dependable all right and still with this king of wands i, I like this maybe um uh, you'll go into uh uh earth mode and be connecting with a fire sign Aries Leo Sag here. Intuitively, I think with this high priestess energy, you're willing to work through um, or, or work on um, the stagnancy of indecision. I think you're realizing that. You know what I mean? Your intuition is really kind of harboring and pushing you um, to make a choice, choose a path and stay on it, you know, and it's requiring you to have this leap of faith with the full energy. But once you do that, you get this divine clarity, information and understanding of everything that happens. The same line here with this uh, moving into this hermit that, you know, that wisdom and understanding and defend that because it's going to be challenged with this five of wands, remember, undermining you. It's going to be challenged. But as long as you stand your ground and say, look, I just want to be happy. The sun is here. And now I know what I need to do to be that happy, damn it. And I want it. I want it. I smelled it. Um, I felt it. I even know what it tastes like. And now I, once I had a piece of that, I can't go back to bull. I can't. You know, because you had a piece of happy and you want to fight for it. Go for it. You deserve it. Hair fine energy here. You know what I mean? You deserve it. You know, if you really think about how you were raised and how you were taught and what you know to be um, the proper or right way uh, to do things, that that's what you're going to tap into and remind you, you know what? I shouldn't have been doing these things and messing around with that person or stuck at this job knowing I wasn't happy. I want my happy. And you go get it. Two of Wands. Decision made. All right. We're going to leave that there, Cancers. I love this energy. I congratulate you on your um, epiphany, on your blossoming, and uh, your release. Um, it is unfortunate that you do have um, a stray. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not a stray. Um, but you do have somebody that's really just not trying to, they're not trying to change, but they don't want to let you go. That's just probably what I even title this. And it is what it is. You know, life goes on. You just keep doing you, loving you, being you, and let them do whatever they're going to do with their life. Okay. But if you need to call the number to 911, the number is 911. Hello. Love you guys. If any event it doesn't resonate, check your moon and rising. Please don't take the energy with you if it's not yours, okay? Leave it here for another cancer. Guys, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.